Hey, man, I smell an upset. Cody literally called for this fight, and he got it. I would love to fight Davis and Figueredo. I think that's a great fight. Two former world champions. He's now at the Bantamweight division. That's a fight that should have happened years ago. I was obviously taken out from COVID. Um, you know, but flyweight's not my weight. Bantamweight is. I feel really good here. Uh, so I love that fight. I've talked to Sean about it. He's all for it. Um, you know, UFC 300, I think that would be an amazing, amazing card to put us on. And something excites me, gets me hungry, gets me motivated and driven to go on there and, and you know, face one of the best flyweights that came up to Bantamweight, former world champion, like I said. And we're both on our way back to the top. That's what we want. That's why we're in this sport, is to be the best. And I think, uh, you know, Trailblazing through him, puts him right to the top. Look, obviously Figueredo is great. He's coming off a great unanimous decision, and Cody is coming off a great knockout. But UFC 300, I could just picture, I could just picture a perfectly timed Cody right hand, lights out, and everyone goes crazy, man. I'm just happy for Cody, man, because he deserves this, dog. But check this out. So yesterday, I was on Twitter, and I saw someone post the odds, okay? And I'm like, damn, bro, this is pretty close. So yesterday, Cody Garbrandt was... The underdog, he was still the underdog, he's, he's the underdog, okay? But he was plus 124, I'm like, damn, that's pretty close. And Figueredo was obviously the favorite at minus 148. And today, I checked the odds, they have changed a lot, man. So, Cody is still the underdog, okay? Cody is still the underdog, but he's at plus 250. What does that mean? So, yesterday, if someone bet yesterday, right? If they put $100 on Cody yesterday, they would have won. If Cody won... They would have won $124. But if someone puts it today, the odds have changed a lot, man. It's at $250. So if you put $100 on Cody right now and he, he beats Figueredo, you get $250. And Figueredo has changed a lot too. He's still the favorite, obviously. But he's at minus 310. Okay? So if you put $310 on Figueredo and he wins, if you bet today, and he wins, you get $100, which it's changed a lot. Yesterday, I, like I said, Figueredo was at $148. So if you would have put $148 on him yesterday, you would have won $100 if he won. But today, it's at $310, minus $310. So I could just like, I'm not going to lie. Like, this isn't gambling advice, okay? This isn't gambling advice at all. Because every time I lose, bro. But like I said... Cody, I know this, this is like big odds and stuff. I know a lot of people out on Twitter were saying like, why are they doing this to Cody? This is shameless. Cody's going to get wrecked and stuff. But come on, dog. You, don't, you can't see Cody winning, man. You can't. I could, I could look, man. If Cody has a great training camp and he's focused, man, he's, like, he's on a two-win streak, man. Yes, he had those crazy knockout losses. I hope they didn't affect him badly, but I could complete, I could totally see Cody winning, bro. I could see Tor Cody winning, and I'm actually going to bet on this. I'm going to bet on Cody. It's at plus 250. These are great odds, man. These are great freaking odds, man, and I can't wait for UFC 300. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. Who do you have winning, Cody Garbrandt or Davidson Figueredo? Let me know what you think of this in the comments, and it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the note. Thanks so much for watching.